As we told you earlier, the Beef Improvement Federation has worked to give producers access to the tools and knowledge they need to make the best genetic decisions. Here now to talk about these efforts is Lee Leachman. He's vice president of the Beef Improvement Federation. Lee, thanks for coming to the show. Thank you for inviting us. So tell us this, how have cow-calf producers and the beef industry at large benefited from the work of the Beef Improvement Federation over time? You know, analyzing these genetics is really complicated. And at one level, we've got these just brilliant scientists designing these systems that analyze these genetics. And yet, we've got to have that technology hit the ground running. And so you've got to have interaction between the producers that are with the cattle every day, putting good cow sense mm -hmm. into that analysis and vice versa. And this is a place where it's really a forum where we interact and exchange ideas. And that's vital to the success of selection. So does the work of BIF uh, impact and improve all breeds or just some specific breeds? Well, absolutely, it's all breeds because all these scientists are working on these models that work just as well to select limousine as they do Angus or a Shorthorn or, or a Brahmin. Mm -hmm. And so you find all the breed associations come together there. And one of the things that BIF does is it standardizes mm -hmm. The, uh, the way we analyze animals and the way we talk about that analysis. And uh, you've probably even seen in the press the, uh, a crossbreed conversion table that BIF puts out each year. You bet. And so we're really trying to help producers understand how to improve each breed and how those breeds work together. And how to use those tools, right? Exactly. Yeah. So as you and Donald and the rest of the leadership pl team plan this year's meeting, uh, what are some of the topics that will be top of mind? This year, we've got, we, got, we have general sessions that are kind of designed to take in the big picture. And we have two general sessions. The first one is going to talk about where should you be heading selection-wise. Mm. You know, I think it's confusing today. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have some people talking about most efficient commodity production. We have some people talking about high quality. There's these ideas about new traits. That's confusing. So mm -hmm. we're going to talk about that. We've got some great speakers who are really going to stretch our thoughts and challenge us on that. The second session is talking about how is the, we, we use the word ownership of the industry changing, but you know, data is everything today. You bet. Who owns this data? Where is it? What's going to happen? What can we learn from the dairy industry and the swine industry? Mm -hmm. And what can that teach us about how we want to make decisions going forward in the beef industry? That's fantastic. It sounds like a great agenda. So, so personally, uh, what excites you most about uh, this year's convention? Well, we get to organize, as, as the incoming president, I get to organize the uh, Young Producers Symposium. Oh, yeah. And there'll be 100 to 200 young producers who want to get engaged. And this is a great thing. I can remember going as a young man and just being lost at this meeting. But this meeting kind of gets you plugged in and we'll have some challenging speakers. The other part that's fun is BIF's had a long tradition of giving awards to uh, top individuals in all sectors, in the commercial sector, the seed stock sector. Um, we do service awards. We do an ambassador yes. award, which we were fortunate enough to uh, give to you last yeah. year for all your work through Cattlemen the Cattlemen to reach out to our industry. So it's fun just to see that and, and be there among all these leaders, all these people trying to do better for the industry. Yeah. It's great. That was quite an honor, and I thoroughly enjoyed the meeting. That's absolutely the case. Looking forward to being part of that this year as well. So, so tell us this. Why should um, cow-calf producers, other beef industry leaders be part of BIF? And, and how do they do that if they want to become involved in the Beef Improvement Federation? I always say one of the hardest things about ranching, you have to be a jack of all trades. You have to be experts in all these areas. If you want to learn more about genetics, whether that's in your commercial herd, mm -hmm. in terms of how you should select in your seed stock herd, or if you're, if you're in uh, academics or education mm -hmm. and you want to be on the cutting edge of this stuff, you know, BIF's a great place to come and learn. And I think you'll go home with strategies that'll change how you look at your beef cow herd. Mm -hmm. And that's exciting. That is very exciting. And there's uh, no better place to do it than right here in colorful Colorado in June. It'll be a beautiful, beautiful venue for a great meeting. Thanks Absolutely. for coming. Thank you, Kevin. Remember, the 50th Annual Convention and Research Symposium will be held June 20th through the 23rd in Loveland, Colorado. If you're looking for details on the event or if you want more information on the Beef Improvement Federation itself, visit the website beefimprovement.org.